Hello, my name is Pastor Samuel Misiani, President of the Seventh-day Adventist Church, West Kenya Union Conference. Today I speak on behalf of the entire Seventh-day Adventist Church in Kenya. This is our response to the widely publicized story about the Seventh-day Adventist Church entitled Holy Betrayal that was aired on NTV's 9 p.m. news on Sunday, April 7th, 2024. Prior to that, there was a trailer that circulated on various social media platforms to ostensibly drum up viewership. With the Seventh-day Adventist Church, take great exception to the NTV reporters' assertions of the connection between the Shakahola massacre and the story that largely highlighted the troubles of one family and some people who do not qualify to be referred to as Seventh-day Adventists. We therefore reject these assertions as demeaning, misleading, and in bad faith. We'd like to explain that Seventh-day Adventists are Bible-believing Christians whose teachings are based on the Bible and the Bible alone. Our Bible-based 28 fundamental beliefs form the basis of our practice and worship. This means that anyone who subscribes to the Seventh-day Adventist Church adheres to these beliefs and the forms of worship. The Seventh-day Adventist Church, therefore, cannot be dragged into activities of any splinter groups or offshoots which do not adhere to the teachings and practices of the church. The association of our signage to extremist activities is highly regretted because those particular churches had nothing to do with the story. The Seventh-day Adventist Church has over 30 million members worldwide who worship every Sabbath in thousands of churches in different languages all over the world. In Kenya alone, the Seventh-day Adventist Church membership is over 5 million people who worship in over 12,000 congregations. The story connected the Seventh-day Adventist Church with some groups who apparently do not believe in education as understood and offered in schools and colleges in this country. We'd like to highlight that the Seventh-day Adventist Church is proactive in the education and health sectors. I shall shortly highlight. The Seventh-day Adventist Church defines education as the harmonious development of the physical, mental, spiritual, and social powers of the person. It is education that prepares men and women for service in this present world and higher service in the world to come. The Seventh-day Adventist Church in Kenya has two universities, the University of Eastern Africa Baraton and the Adventist University of Africa. The University of Eastern Africa Baraton, established in 1978, was the first private university in Kenya to receive charter in 1991 from the Kenyan government. Our two universities offer graduate and postgraduate studies to PhD levels in various disciplines. The Seventh-day Adventist Church has 83 denominationally maintained primary schools and 32 denominationally maintained secondary schools. We also sponsor a total of 771 primary and secondary schools across the country. In addition, the Seventh-day Adventist Church runs two special schools, one medical college, one technical college, and four teacher training colleges. In the health sector, the Adventist Church runs seven hospitals and 60 clinics and health centers across the country. The School of Nursing at Baraton was the first one to offer a university degree in nursing and is still one of the best nursing schools in Kenya. The church also runs a School of Medical Services at Kindo Adventist Hospital in Homer Bay County with excellent results. 
The Seventh-day Adventist Church boasts of one of the best dental clinics in Kenya, including the well-known Better Living Hospital in Nairobi that attracts thousands of patients annually. In addition, the Adventist Church engages in distribution and sale of health books that have landed in the hands of millions of Kenyans and to the best of our knowledge, we have no record of any complaints on the contents of our books. Rather, Adventist literature has been used in educational institutions, families, and by individuals to provide a holistic understanding on health, family, and spiritual life. The Seventh-day Adventist Church owns one national television and seven radio stations in Kenya. We also own a printing press since 1920, which prints 50% of our literature, some of which find their way into the Kenyan market. Therefore, the recent assertions by NTV's Brian Obuya that the Adventist Church has barred its members from taking their children to school from receiving medical attention and from watching television or listening to radio are false and in bad faith. The story's slant portrays the church as a cult and nothing can be farther from the truth. The Seventh-day Adventist Church is busy preparing people for the soon coming of Christ and serving humanity in many ways that we cannot enumerate here. While waiting for the soon coming of Christ, we are busy drilling boreholes in many parts of the country, teaching agriculture in many parts of the country, and providing relief to many parts of the country whenever disaster strikes. That is what Adventist Development and Relief Agency, known as ADRA, does to all humanity without discrimination in Kenya and worldwide. This year alone, in our free medical camp, we offered free treatment to over 7,000 people and performed over 50 surgeries for free. We have three other such medical camps coming to Kindle Adventist Hospital this year and many more next year as we gear up to celebrate the hospital's 100 years of existence in Kenya, serving the nation. We request and invite this media house that has injured our reputation and the journalists to personally examine our fundamental beliefs and true development activities in this nation and worldwide, then judge the church on what it teaches and not on what others who may disagree with us may say or want to say to tarnish the name of the church. This is from your friends, the Seventh-day Adventist Church. God bless you.